Thank you very much for the opportunity to guide you, Mr. Speaker. Of the Speaker, we have listened to our Minister responsible for finance. Mr. Speaker, I listened to him attentively, and I've also had the opportunity to review the papers, the document that he gave to us. Mr. Speaker, he said that the performance so far shows that we have turned the corner. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, the evidence and the numbers before us shows that he has rather deepened our woes. Mr. Speaker, I say this because he has said to us today that he is revising economic growth from 2.8% of GDP to 1.5% of GDP. Mr. Speaker, again, again, he said to us here and now that he has borrowed 5.5 billion Ghana cities from January to June from the TBO market. Mr. Speaker, not long ago, this same minister had informed us that he will not borrow at all in the year 2023. And that going into the remaining part of the year, he's going to borrow another 41 billion Ghana cities. Mr. Speaker, aside that, the city depreciation we are seeing so far is largely because he has defaulted in the payment of external interest and principal. Mr. Uh, Speaker, honor, that is why honor, the city has... Honorable leader, I think we will just have to... Leader, I think you are ready to fire on, so we can just start the comments now. We can start the comment now. Leadership, is that what the decision is? Mr. Speaker, I'm only laying foundation. I'm only laying the foundation for the debate to start tomorrow. Mr. Speaker, I will move for the suspension of the House. But in doing so, let our minister not say this anywhere, that he has turned the corner. He has rather deepened our woes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the understanding was for us to take the media review. Mr. Speaker, I've noticed that there is no advertised motion. There's no advertised motion for the media review. Mr. Speaker, I'm of the view that Section 28 of the Public Financial Management Act mandates the Minister responsible for finance to come in a form of a motion. Mr. Speaker, I have argued this point time and time again. We are setting a serious precedent that needs to be corrected straight away. Mr. Speaker, I'm of the view that if the Minister responsible for finance is expenditure line downwards, there is the need for Parliament to approve it. Mr. Speaker, in this case, we know for a fact that the budget was prepared with an assumption that government was not going to increase wages and salaries. Mr. Speaker, subsequently, government increased wages and salaries. That clearly means that the media review that the minister is presenting today, there will be an increase in the compensation line. Mr. Speaker, he can't do it unilaterally. Parliament will need to give him the permission to spend that money. So that's why, Mr. Speaker, this should not be, uh, he should not come to us by a statement. He should come to us in a form of a motion in line with Section 28 of the PFM Act. Mr. Speaker, let them do the right thing. Come with Section 28 where a motion is required under these circumstances so that, Mr. Speaker, we can approve it. Mr. Speaker, let them not run away from Parliament approving or giving the mandate to spend. Mr. Speaker, he may be spending within the Appropriations Act. But as long as you are buying expenditure from one line to another, Mr. Speaker, I still maintain that Parliament will have to approve it, particularly on the compensation line. Mr. Speaker, another important point. We prepared a budget assuming, assuming that we were going to spend a certain amount of money in servicing interest. Subsequently, our Minister responsible for finance and the government has announced debt restructuring. To the extent that we are not servicing those debts, we have subsequently announced suspension of interest payment. Mr. Speaker, since then, we are not paying our interest. Why is it that he will not come in a form of a motion for us to debate it properly? Mr. Speaker, I submit that this particular media review should come in a form of a motion and not a statement.